Hi Year 11. In this video, I'm going to take you through some key tips and resources we have for you at Freshy to help you manage your assessment tasks in a smart, step-by-step -step way. Hopefully in the last mentoring session, you completed one of these yearly wall planners with the weeks your assessment tasks are due for all your subjects. With this wall planner, you're able to see those times of the year where you'll be particularly busy, like the chunk of time I'm hovering my mouse over now, which we're in at the moment, with either multiple assessment tasks due in the same week, like they're in week seven, or over back-to-back -back weeks. And we also have the exam blocks filled out in there as well. If you haven't filled one of these out yet, you can pick one up at any time from the resource wall in the Freshy library. Now we know you've heard it time and time again, start your assessment tasks as soon as you get them and don't leave your tasks until the last minute. But with these busy periods in front of you, along with the added meaning of tasks in the senior school, this concept of managing your time as effectively as possible is now more important than ever. As it says here on the page for this week's mentoring session, Breaking down your assessment tasks into more manageable chunks is an absolutely vital key to success in the senior, senior school. And doing this well enables you to feel less overwhelmed, get started earlier, of course, but importantly, balance all your tasks when you have multiple of them due around the same time so that you can endeavor to achieve your personal best in all of those particular tasks. However, we know your tasks may not always point out or make it obvious to you what those smaller chunks or steps should be. That's why we've created a tool for you to use to break down your tasks by identifying those chunks or steps, as well as to record other important task info. I'm going to take you through how to access and use that tool now. So to find it, you want to Google freshwater mentoring. and hit the first result. Navigate to the Year 11 Mentoring Sessions. And this is our second session for Term 1. And scroll down to the Smart Task Management part and click on the image to open the template. Now to be able to edit this, we want to hit File, make a copy. And because I'm going to base this on the first year 11 assessment uh, for English that you're in the middle of at the moment, I'm going to rename this file year 11 English task one breakdown and make that copy. Then you can start filling out the details, starting with part one, the basic details, including the subject, the weighting, which is 30% for this task, which is task number one, and how we need to submit it, which in this case is to turn it in, which I'll talk a bit more about later. Now on to part two, the final due date details. So for you guys, that's Thursday, the 4th of April, which is week 10 of term one. Now, including the time for this particular task is crucial because the submissions will close after 4 p.m. sharp. So don't be late. As suggested, make sure this date is recorded somewhere that's easy for you to remember, like in a diary, on a wall planner, or on a big day countdown app which you can see on your desktop every time you open your laptop. The most important part of this breakdown doc is part number three, where we're breaking the task down into those smaller chunks that I've talked about. However, as I've said, it can sometimes be unclear in your task exactly what all the steps to completing them should be. But for this example, I consulted with an English teacher who suggested all the steps I'm gonna paste in now. So you should have already done steps one to four by now, but we'll just run through those quickly to show you how I've broken them down. So that started with step part number one, which is reviewing the options available and picking two out of the four, annotating the questions and instructions 
for little details that we're looking for. Steps two and three, reviewing the text for the selected options and then planning and writing. And then step number four, which you've just done, which is getting those drafts check read, hopefully by a parent or someone else, and then submitting them for feedback. Finally, we've got the steps which you've got coming up before the due date in week 10. That starts with part number five, which is editing the drafts from the feedback you get back from your teacher and then doing a final check after you've done that polishing against the instructions and the marking criteria for the task. When you're happy with your work, submitting it to turn it in. Now, the reason it says practice turn it in submission is because for many of you, this will be your first time submitting to turn it in. And a reminder that those submissions cut off at 4 p.m. sharp. So you can submit early to practice submission and check for any plagiarism then resubmit if needed. Now on the right hand side guys is where we're putting our completion goals. Be smart with those, um, with planning those weeks. Space them out so you're not leaving too many jobs too late and give yourself plenty of time for the big jobs. So if we go back to parts two and three here, we can see that I left one of those a week each because they're the big jobs, reviewing the text, planning and doing my first draft. To get the real benefit out of part three of this breakdown sheet, you need to record each job and each particular completion goal, that is the date you wanna complete each step by in a diary or a weekly planner. That way you're keeping yourself accountable for each chunk of the task. The weekly goal setting plan is available for, for you from the mentoring website. They're here at the bottom of the page for this week's session. Uh, excellent for planning out your smaller jobs for each subject day by day and give you that opportunity to track your progress by ticking the jobs off as you do them. Here you can see an example of a weekly goal setting planner in action. Just remember to balance your jobs across your subjects on given days, particularly at those times when you have multiple tasks due around the same time. Plus, keep yourself super organized by using at least two weeks worth of planners at a time. Back to the breakdown sheet. Part four is also important as this is where you identify where the drafting is allowed for a task. And if so, the details of when that task draft is due, etc. For this task, there is a draft allowed, which you should have already done, but we've got the details in there. Part five is for you to record any other tips or tools that can help you break, uh, that can help you with the task, like scaffolds, examples, study guides, etc. For instance, with this task, you of course have the module booklet with the text and analysis of them. Plus, if you're wanting that extra guidance, you could see the library for a possible SLSO booking to review your edits from the feedback before your final submission. As long as the smaller jobs to complete the task are recorded in a diary or on a planner, and you stay aware of the other bits of info, you don't need to print this template. It's really here as an early planning tool, a way of identifying how to make each task more manageable so that you can start them as soon as possible. For instance, remembering to open one of these whenever your teachers first hand out and explain a task in class can make sure, help, can help you make sure that you're keeping that important info that's given out at that time and then starting the task from there. Back to the mentoring website quickly, just pay attention to the next part of the session that's coming up about getting your study environment optimal because a good study environment at home is really important to achieving strong goals in senior school. And at the bottom, you can also see some tips here on effective diary use, which you can look at later, as well as the link to a big day countdown for Max, which many of you hopefully have already. But best of luck with all your future tasks, Year 11, and remember, don't leave them until the last minute.